When Frontier decided to cancel the console version of Elite Dangerous Odyssey earlier this year many commanders were left high and dry. For those for whom buying a powerful gaming PC is simply not a practical option the pain of not having access to Odyssey was further compounded when FDev announced that Horizons on consoles would be getting no further updates in the Odyssey era. But what many don't realise is that owning a powerful gaming PC isn't necessary to play Odyssey. In this video we'll take a look at why in fact you don't need to own a PC at all. If you enjoy our videos as always please do like, subscribe and ping that notification bell to see all our future content. To directly support the work we do here you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything else you need are below. From reading the comments on our videos over the last few months it's become apparent that a good number of Elite Dangerous console commanders who wish to play Odyssey but can't because they don't own a powerful enough PC or simply don't own a PC at all don't realise that there is another option that may possibly be open to them. There is a caveat to this solution ...you will need a really decent internet connection but it is a genuinely viable option to carry on into the next generation if that's available to you. The solution we're discussing today is Nvidia's GeForce Now game streaming service. If you're not familiar with GeForce Now or the concept of game streaming then it's actually quite simple. When you use GeForce Now to play a game your game is actually running on a PC in the cloud and a video stream of what you would be seeing where you sat at that PC is sent to you via the internet instead. Your control inputs are transmitted back into the cloud and this allows you to play the game remotely. Because the cloud based PC is shouldering the burden of actually running the game the specifications of the device at the players end which is in essence just streaming a video can be extremely low by comparison. GeForce Now supports the following platforms. Mac OS 10.11 or higher, Windows PC running Windows 7 or higher, Chrome OS, Nvidia Shield TV, the Chrome browser or Microsoft Edge browser, an Android phone or tablet, iPhone or iPad, Android TV and some Samsung or LG smart TVs. For its connection to the internet GeForce now requires at least 15 megabits per second for 720p at 60fps and 25 megabits per second for 1080p at 60fps. The service does sport a free option that offers just a 1 hour gaming slot per session so you can, at the very least, try it out without committing to further expense but for serious use it benefits from a subscription of £8.99 a month that will give you a maximum 6 hour slot per gaming session at up to 1080p and 60fps. There is a more expensive option that will give you an 8 hour slot with up to 4K resolution and 120 frames per second on an Nvidia 3080 graphics card that comes in at £17.99 a month. Frontier are still offering their free account copy from console to the PC side. As we've mentioned on this channel before that copy is completely consequence free for the console account. It is a copy not a transfer. The road to this point in Odyssey's life has, without a doubt, been lined with pain. Coupled with the expansions problems at launch the loss of consoles into the next generation of the game came as a significant hammer blow. But Speaking from our own experiences Odyssey is now a great addition to the Elite Dangerous experience and the opportunity to play on PC with some of our formerly console only friends in the community without them owning a PC has been fantastic. If you have the bandwidth and access to one of the supported platforms and think GeForce Now might offer a solution that could work for you get your account copied onto Steam, link your GeForce Now and Steam accounts and you can give the system a go for free and decide if it works for you. To get started you'll find everything you need linked in the description below this video. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.